Good morning, movers. Welcome to Move Daily Fitness. I'm Tracy Steam. This workout is a complete lower body blast today. So you'll require a variety of dumbbells in the workout. Make sure you have a box or a bench, something to step up on, but if you don't have one, I'll show you the modification. We'll start you with a nice little leg warm up. We'll end with a cool down and we're throwing in some broad jumps <laughs> all the way through. So get ready for those. All right, let's move daily. to the ground. I'm going to put my hands on my feet. We're opening up into the groin just a little bit here. Rocking back and forth. Okay, just want to get it all warmed up in there. Don't want to pull anything. And then let's go ahead and stand and squat just for eight times here. Oh, it feels good. If you can keep your hands on your feet, do that. If they need to travel up your shins, that's okay too. Three more here. Ooh, that's a burn. Last one right here and round up through the lower back. Let's take it wide. Hand to toe touch. That's it. Four more here. And right there. Good. Up and around. Get some hip openers here. I gave this to a few clients this morning. So they said they were nicely sweaty with very little cardio. So we do have the broad jumps, but it's only one sequence of each in between the circuits. Otherwise, it's so fun that you get so sweaty squat front kick without really doing a lot of heavy, intense cardio. Leg day will do that to you. Does it to me all the time for sure. All right, five more here. Last here, good. All right, little side to side lunge. Just take it nice and slow here. Want to get that warmed up without pulling anything on that inner thigh. 45 seconds of work, 15 seconds transition is our format. I forgot to mention. Good, all the way down and round up. Let's do a little hip opener one more time here. Two more here. Good, and take it wide for a plie. And let's just start to open the chest there for a sec. We're doing abs, nothing upper body, but we'll just, you know, <laughs> warm it up anyway, just a little bit. Good, four more here. And up, good. All right, not a long warm up. We're gonna jump right into it, keep going if you need to. Otherwise, here's circuit one. You're starting with a reverse lunge hop. So you're gonna take it back, give me a hop right there. We'll do 22 seconds per side, I'll call halfway. You can modify with just a reverse lunge high knee, okay? Get ready, let's kick this up. Here we go, low and hop. Good. Switch legs and work. Okay, shake that out. Move into a goblet squat. I'm going to grab my 20 feet or shoulder width apart. We're going nice low glutes or elbows to knees. Here we go. And drop and drive.
Last here. Okay, grab your boxer bench. We're gonna do a step up with a leg extension. I did this not too long ago, otherwise you're here if you don't have the box. Okay, get ready. So, squat, extension, and there. So I'm not coming all the way up to standing, keeping tension on my working glute. Very easily done on the floor here. All right, switch sides and go. You want a small step for this, not a big one. This would be really hard with a regular bench. Okay, we get into that sprinter sit up on your back on the ground. Opposite elbow, opposite knee. Get ready. And here we go. Up, up. I'm coming right up to my tailbone, touching elbow and knee. If you need to modify this, go ahead and just do a bicycle on your back, okay? Then you're not coming all the way up, using upper abs as much. 10 seconds. One more here. All right, good. Round two, let's go into that reverse lunge again. I forgot my water. That's too bad. <laughs> oh well, I'll push it through this circuit. Ready, reverse lunge, hop. And low. Pop, low. All right, switch legs. Almost there. All right, ha. Ah, it's a good fire on there. Let's go with the goblet. I'm going to use a 20 here. Okay, shoulder width. All right, let's work. Reach hips back and drive. See my elbows touch my knees, but I'm straight up and down my back. Good, halfway. One more here. And good. Okay, moving to that step up or squat leg lift. Okay, stay low, remember. Leg extension out to the side. And up, up, all right. All right, switch sides, ha, and burn.
and time right there. Ha! Oh, sprinter sit up. Take it down to the ground. It's good times. Quads are shaky. Here we go. And up, up, turn, crunch those obliques. You know that song, All My Exes Live in Texas? <laughs> well, when I did my video this last week of my 25,000 subscribers and I asked people where they were born, like every third person was from Texas. <laughs> I'm like, holy, one more round. No wonder everyone's exes are from Texas because everyone lives there. It's a big state. Here we go, round three and back. I, you know I'm from Canada, right? So that's not the the biggest subscriber base on my channel, though, at all. Um, even the UK has more subscribers than Canada. Come on, girls from Canada, represent. Switch sides. Low, up. Love my UK girls, though. A lot of my members are from the UK. Shout out to you all. Woo, that's work. Okay, goblet. A lot of people from Australia too. Ready? Okay, here we go. Now I have that song in my head. Oh my exes live in Texas. <laughs> oh geez, sorry. <sighs> Drop your butt a little low. Come on, push through the heel. <sighs> Ten seconds here. extension. Ready? Get low. Lift. All right, switch sides. Ten seconds. Lift that leg. Halfway. Oh, 
Okay, let's move to the next circuit. You're gonna require a mini band. If you don't have one, no problem. We're gonna do weighted glute thrusts with the band above the knees. Then we'll stand and do extensions. You can hold a dumbbell if you don't have a band. Before we get to that, you've got our broad jump sequence. So you're gonna get low, three duck walks back, and then a broad jump forward. Okay, land as light as you can. I'm gonna start with a broad jump, low and light. One, two, three. You can step forward, squat instead of jumping if you need to modify. Wow, that's a quad burner, isn't it? Should have opened that basement door. It's banging, sorry. All right. Put the mini band above the knees. You're on your back for that glute thrust. I'm gonna grab my 20 on my pelvis. Feet close to the bottom, but shoulder width apart. Up, squeeze, down. Squeeze, down. If your weight's too light and you just want to fire off these nice and rapid, feel free. I'm going to focus on the squeeze. It's almost like a little pulse at the top, but just squeezing the glutes. Putting tension on the band by pushing my knees out. So you need a strong band so it doesn't, you know, allow you to extend your knees out into an abduction, right? Good, last year. All right, stand. You've got leg extensions. Straight leg sweep. Leave the band there or hold the dumbbell if you don't have one. Hold on to something, knee is soft, we're sweeping right here. Ready, and work. Sweep, good. This is nice and rapid. Now, I don't wanna let my back arch when my leg's at the top. You only let it extend as far as you can before your back arches, okay? Woo, that stationary glute's feeling something. Three, two, switch legs right here, and work. Nice. So I'm slightly forward leaning, really working that glute. All right, going into a plie squat. I'm gonna use my 20 for that. Let the band there. All right, take it wide, toes are out. I'm gonna hang it low here. Ready, and work low. I'm trying to touch the ground here. If I touch the ground every single time, you could contemplate holding the dumbbell this way so you can get lower, okay? I'm just touching so I'm good there. Taking it down for a figure eight ab exercise next. And then we'll go right into round two. So make sure your dumbbell is close for the glute thrust. Okay, so set it down, ab, figure eight. So I'm on my hands, on my tailbone, making a figure eight with my legs. If that hurts, you're here, alternating toe touch. Ready, up and up. My client Carla killed this this morning. She did it for the entire 45 seconds. I don't think I'll be able to. It's a lot of hip flexor.
on my pelvis. Feet close to the bottom, but shoulder width apart. Up, squeeze down. Squeeze down. If your weight's too light and you just want to fire off these nice and rapid, feel free. I'm going to focus on the squeeze. It's almost like a little pulse at the top, but just squeezing the glutes. Putting tension on the band by pushing my knees out. So you need a strong band so it doesn't you know, allow you to extend your knees out into an abduction, right? Good, last year. All right, stand. You've got leg extensions. Ready and work. Sweep. Switch legs right here and work. All right. Ready and work low. Okay, so set it down, half, figure eight. Here we go. Up. Fifteen seconds. Get ready for that broad jump pattern coming up. Oh, okay. Broad jump. You're doing broad jump forward, three jacks back. So big jump forward. One, two, three jacks back. Okay. Then we'll take a break. Here we go. Land light. One. Two, three, and go. Oh, I'm trying to land light. I'm not, though. That was better. Good water break if you need. Join me circuit three. Starting with a pendulum swing. All right, one leg is stationary. It's a front lunge. 
reverse lunge. Feel free to hold the dumbbell and switch front and back if you'd like. My hips bother me, so I'm not gonna do that today. Here we go. So your front and back. I'll call halfway. This sometimes is just enough without the dumbbell too, but you do whatever you like. All right, switch legs and work. Front and reverse. Okay, deadlifts. Staggered stance, I'm gonna grab my 15s. I'll call halfway. One foot is stationary. Plant your toe behind you, about half a foot. And we'll hit a deadlift here. Ready? Here we go. So you hinge and stand. Switch your legs and work and hinge and stand. Okay, good. Lateral lunge twist. Grab my eight pound dumbbell. I'm gonna lunge to the side, stand, twist. Same side, I'll call halfway. Ready, head right, here we go. Low and twist to the same side and twist. Reach hip back and up. One more the side. All right, and switch. Here we go. Spider Man crunch is next. Out to the side, alternating. I'm breaking here. Okay, ready and crunch. Switch sides and here. Really think about those obliques here. Crunch it up. Almost there. Okay, back to the top with your pendulum. Oh yeah, yeah. That was a hard circuit. Stationary lunge, front and back. Swing. Wait if you want. Switch legs and work. Oh, mercy. Okay, let's do the deadlift. That is 
hard even without weight, isn't it? Okay. Plant a foot. Stagger your stance. Here we go. Reach and up. All right, switch your stagger. Here we go. Nice, okay. Side lunge twist. I've got my eight here. That felt fine for me last time. Make it heavier if you like. Okay, ready. Reach your hips and low up knee twist. Good. Last the side. Oh yeah, switch sides and go. Okay, down for your Spider-Man crunch. That's how Spidey would walk up the walls. <laughs> Do you ever wonder how they get some of the names for these exercises? Like the Monica, who thought of that? <laughs> Just kidding, it was me. If you've been with me long enough, you know what the Monica is. Okay, one more round, we can do this. And then one more broad jump. Let's go back to the pendulum. Oh, that water never tasted so good. Ready, work. Sometimes I do water, lots of times I do BCAAs. Depends on, sometimes like the sweet from the BCAAs just makes my throat like, ugh, I don't like it. So, like phlegmy, you know? Sorry, that's gross, but switch legs. I have to be ready for that. <laughs> it's stevia sweetened, but I just get that sometimes. When I eat something that's sweet, it's weird. Does anyone else get that? Okay, I did not like those today. Deadlifts. I like these though. Stagger. Work. Switch legs, go. Oh, it feels so good with a big stretch on the side. Okay, nice. Lateral. 
twist. And work. Switch legs. Okay, last exercise here before a broad jump. Let's go into that spider man crunch. Okay, we can do it. We're almost there, girls. Take it down. Here we go. And up. Last 10 seconds. Don't drop. Oh, my shoulders are screaming. Nice. Okay, your last broad jump. Coming up. Okay, if you have a lot of room, do this twice in a row, but if you just have short space, you're gonna tiny jump back, broad jump forward. Turn around or jump around. So, little back, big forward. Here we go. Get down, little and big. Back. Almost there, 20 seconds, come on. Quads. Woo! Get further. Last one here for me. Oh, like an elephant. You move daily in your lower body and ab workout. Congrats. That was fun. Join me for a stretch if you can. Okay, I'm gonna take it right down to pigeon. That hip flexor needs it, wants it, has to have it. Oh, so I'm just gonna sit up, stretching that hip flexor bit here. If you wanna stretch glute, you're down lower, okay? Okay, excellent. That was fun. Hey, over on my Instagram, please follow me over there because I offer different things than I do over here. Let's switch sides. I posted a picture of a one-way sign that I saw up on a mountain. Because of COVID-19, everyone wants to walk the same direction and not come up and down. It's like a circle instead. And I, I took a picture of it because I thought, in my mind, there's one way to an ultimate health and fitness life, a healthy life. And that's really to take micro steps in all the things we know that we need to do. Right, it's daily committing. Let's get on our backs here. Cross over a little glute stretch. It's daily committing to micro steps in your fitness. So moving daily, thinking, have I done something today? In your nutrition, it's drinking water. It's uh, focusing on incorporating more vegetables and micronutrients and balanced macronutrients. It's wellness micro steps in your wellness so maybe it's meditation maybe it's deep breathing maybe it's self-care routines um you know maybe it's taking a deep dive into your mental health or figuring out uh, your relationship with food those are all the ways let's put our arms to the side let the legs fall gently and slowly those are all the ways that we can you know move down the path to better health 
but it really does have to be a daily thing, right? Which is why I switch the legs to the side. I say to people, if you have a profound enough reason for getting up in the morning to do, make your life better, that's really what you gotta aim for. Then you aim for it, then you do the tasks in the day that lead you closer to that life that you want. If you don't have anything to aim at, you're not gonna aim at anything, right? You're not gonna strive for anything. Why wake up early? Switch to hamstring stretch. Why focus on good nutrition? Right? If you don't have a higher aim for your life, and if you don't, then find one. Um, when I went to, like, I used to be a therapist, but I also have gone to therapy, and my therapist said to me once, Tracy, when's the last time you really felt alive? And it had been a while at that point. I said, when, when I spoke, I, I put on a workshop, I spoke, I led it, I decided to do the whole kit and caboodle. And he goes, you need to do that all the time. <laughs> like, find a way to do that. And partly what happened is I started this YouTube channel and partly what happened is I started touring more as a speaker and like those are things that really make me a better human because it makes me feel alive inside and so finding that for yourself is critical. It's critical for your well-being. So I'd love for you to think this week, what, how, what, when's the last time I felt alive? What did I do? And what are some of the micro steps that I do on a regular basis that lead me down the path to being a healthier, better self. Can you list those in the comments below if you have anything that really stands out for you? I'd love to hear it. I'd love you to share with our community as well. All right, thanks for joining. That was a lovely ha, leg day. Uh, if you want a workout for tomorrow, I recommend upper body or cardio. I'll see you in the next workout.